Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve an unexpected error is keeping you from copying the file. If you continue to receive this error, you can use this error code to search for help with this problem. Error 0x8007032. The request is not supported. So, this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, circle back or registry editor. Go ahead and right click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you can easily restore it back. And in order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select file and then export. File name, I'd recommend naming the date in which you're making the backup. Set export range to all and save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer. And if you ever need to import it back in, all you have to do is select file and then import and then navigate to the file location. So once that's done, we are ready to begin. And we're going to start off by double clicking on the HK local machine folder. Do the same thing now for the system folder. Same thing for current control set. And now go down and double click on the services folder. And it should be a CSC folder. Here. You might need to pause the video and take note of our file path at the top of the screen here. Each backslash is a different sub key we went under to get to this point. If there's nothing to drop down or expand, you want to right click on it. Select new and then select key. Name this key parameters. Exactly how you see it on my screen. And hit enter. And now on the right side, you want to right click in a blank area, select new and select DWORD 32 bit value. You want to name this format database, exactly how you see it on my screen. So again, format database, the F in format and the D in database should be capitalized. And then double click on this value, set the value data to the numerical value of one. So just type in the number one here. Base should be hexadecimal and then select OK. And then once that is done, you can go ahead and actually close out of the registry editor. And you want to restart your computer at this time. And there you go, guys. Hopefully your issue has been resolved at this point. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.